dream camper, Father's Day weekend, family's here. Hey guys, Robert here with Coastal GX. Back at it in another get up, get out, do something adventure with my wife, Cassie. It is Father's Day weekend, so I do have my daughter, Samantha, and my son, Robbie, and Samantha's fiance, Nacho. They're accompanying us for this weekend stay. And uh, special guest, I have our brand new Opus OP4 camper it's in the back right there that orange thing that uh, is tagging along and we're this is a maiden voyage we're gonna try it out see how it works uh, so far so good we're I think we're what mile 14 now we're on mile 14 and it's been behaving just great it's it's high tide but there's zero wind low the waves are really tame this thing hasn't given me any headaches but I am very aware of how i'm driving and and you know what i'm what i'm maneuvering how i'm maneuvering trying to uh, remember little details we're looking for a camping spot we're gonna set up and uh hope you stick around till the end of the video let's let's see how it goes <laughs> no <laughs> no <laughs> the the Gropus Poppy Four. <laughs> what do y'all think? So we finally got the camper set up. It's crazy hot outside, but I can say we are so happy now because finally got it set up. As you can see, I mean, well, I'm not the best at interior decor, but this is the best I could muster, at least for now. I went ahead and I opened up all the windows, even the ones on, on top here, because I want all the circulation all the wind to uh, get this heat out and it's been doing such a good job I'll be honest with you I was scared man I was like man it's gonna be crazy hot in here and it's close to noon so we're supposed to be like right at the peak of, of heat temperatures of hot temperatures and it's very manageable in here I got this little fan going uh, right here I have a couple of those that have been helping out also, you know, circulate the air. I am, this is where my wife and I are going to be sleeping. That is an XPED uh, Duo 15 Mega Mat. Very comfortable. I've been testing it out at home, uh, but can't wait to field test it. And of course, we have the ensuite, a little shower over there, the um, on demand hot water right there and uh, you got a little lounge here where you can hang out now it's good to field test things and to really read the manual anytime that you buy any RV any camper anything we already experienced our very first problem so when I bought this um, the Opus 4 I noticed that there was a very slow leak, but I just couldn't identify where it was. Well, today it revealed itself big time. So the way the system is in these things, because this is all inflatable, 
and I'm not gonna waste my time. I'm not gonna waste my time, you know, showing you details on how to set it up and all that. I have a full detailed one hour video on how to set one of these things up. So if you're an Opus owner or you're trying to get into one of these, you might wanna check that video out. I'm just, this is just uh, to show you like our little experience out here on the day one, you know, day one of our uh, field testing. Uh, just so happens to be Father's Day. So happy Father's Day to all of you fathers or father figures out there. Um, hey man, you know, I hope you guys are having a wonderful time with your families, uh, but check it out. So I noticed, I heard some hissing and I was able to isolate the valve. You see, it has valves at key points. I opened them up just in case. Uh, but these valves right here, say that you experience a puncture or some sort of leak or whatever on, on one of these beams. Okay, these are like rock solid right here. Um, you can go ahead and isolate that beam and still maintain the rigidity and the structure of uh, your tent. So you see, you have more uh, connections right there. Um, so let me show you. This thing it comes with a comes with a, 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 a table, but we already set it up over here. So I'm going to show you right here. This is the front. Right now I have I just have the screens set up, and uh, I open it up here, and I have my wife over there. I got Nacho, Sammy's fiance, and my daughter Samantha's right here. Robbie, my son. He's over there, he's got his own little setup also. Okay, so this is, the, this is how we set it up for now. So you see this orange mat right here? This mat will allow the, the sand, the finer sand, to go through it so you don't have as much sand on top of it, okay? And what I did in order to do my sand management, okay, and be able to maintain um, lower levels of sand in here, what I did was check this out. I got myself to save some space. I got myself a collapsible, a collapsible bucket, okay? And then I got myself this little pump that uh, with rechargeable batteries that connects down there. And so all we have to do is we just leave our, our shoes outside and uh we just wash the sand off right here with our little shower okay so you know we were able to come in here and we have this very absorbent mat and uh this mat will help you dry up your feet and uh, kind of keep a cleaner space in here for when it's time to go to bed uh, i'm sure you've noticed that we have this air sun canopy right here that does not come with the unit you have to buy that separately you can buy an annex or you can buy this air sun canopy we went with the air sun canopy for obvious reasons we don't have you know to worry a lot about the cold over here at the beach what we're worried about is you know keeping in the shade and as you can see it's already doing a good job Hey, Nacho found the sleepy chair yeah yeah dude careful that chair is just gonna knock you out dude yeah uh now we made sure that we have very good tethers down there i got these orange uh 12 inch screw type anchors that um really dig in there so i feel pretty good about that and then i got the heavy duty tie boss tie downs as well because i just didn't want to take a chance at night how you doing? What's up? I've been watching your video. <laughs> How's it going? Good. What's your What's your I'm, name, brother? I'm Sean. My wife Belinda. And my son Hi. Bruce. Hello there. How you doing, man? We're doing fine. Uh, we are. Well, happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to you too. Thank Hi. you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. 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 So uh, you guys go out, out there often, or first time? Yep. Yeah. First time. First time all the way. We, we come to the beach all yeah. the time, but have never went all the way up to the jetty. So. What did you think? 
they weren't catching anything, I'll tell you that. It's fishing, <laughs> not catching. But they, they were all set up. Um, yeah. We were already planning our next adventure to come and camp out up there. So That's that's yeah. the whole point. I mean, if, if you can figure it out, see what works for you, yep. and then you go and do it. I mean, it's if you love fishing, you love fishing. But yes, if you sir. like a combination of things. Yeah. No, it's about family fun, having a good time. Man. Yeah, and the journey is also pretty special. Yes. Yeah. And whatever you find, right? There's weird stuff that, that Man, comes out of here. Every time we come, yeah. the beach is always changing, right? So yeah. you never know what you're going to see. So this is why it's important to uh, kind of like do a soft rollout. What I learned, you got these flames are going on here, but it took about 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. I opened up the... Um, the propane port, everything was open, but it took a while for the propane to reach the stove. Time to make those burgers. Okay guys, so I had never done burgers out here. Everybody says they're good. I'm gonna give it a try. Mm. Pretty good. Later in the afternoon, and the winds have picked up big time. And uh, I gotta tell you, you know, the, the thinner sand has gone through it. But the thicker sand, or I guess sand with moisture, that's just going to stay on top. And maybe we should have just stretched it out, and we didn't do that, so that's also our fault. You know, we were kind of lazy, and we just, you know, put pegs on the corners instead of all of them. And uh, even the pegs that we had were not really good enough for, for, uh, for this application right here. Um, my daughter, Samantha, is inside because of the high winds and the sand. So that's impacted her eyes. I hope you're going to be okay, mama. Yeah, she's in there <laughs> chilling out. Nacho's over here. And Nacho and I, we had a little plan. And so he parked his Toyota 4Runner in the back. And uh, I went ahead and parked Sandy over here because the winds are blowing kind of hard about 25 miles an hour at least you know from the southeast and uh so we're just got our backs to the ocean over here robbie's still fishing but uh we did a pretty good job tethering the awning over here you didn't get skunk son yeah <laughs> it's a baby whiting but it's a whiting probably using for bait or something yeah trying out this new pump and I'm going to see if it works or not but with this pump you're supposed to be able to just drop it in here okay instead of lifting this if you have a bad back and uh, you don't want to mess with that or you don't want to spill all sorts of fuel here you know you can go ahead and and uh, use it to just pump in here like if it's a normal like if it was a normal uh, gas pump. So let's give it a try. Look at that. Man, that is pretty cool. You have absolute control here. It's all the way to the top there. And then you can just turn it off here. And there you go. Uh, sun is going down, so that's really nice. Temperature's a whole lot better. Had a wonderful time with my family day's not over yet obviously but right now let me tell you what we got going obviously we just fueled up the generator and you know we have it at this distance 
away from the tent. And the reason we have it at, at that distance is because uh, we don't want any of the fumes, you know, to be kicking back to us. The wind is coming from the southeast. So, you know, that's why we position the tent over here and it's going to be pushing it, you know, on that way away from us. Uh, we're going to zip up everything on, inside. And the reason that we're using this generator is because there's several of us here and we want to have a comfortable night with air conditioning. And in order for you to run air conditioning in an OP4 or an Opus over here, you have to have either shore power or you have to have a generator running. A generator of at least 3,500 watts, okay? It's a Dometic uh, Cool Cat 10,500 BTU air conditioner that it's got inside. And uh, it cools, I've been testing it out for the last three weeks at home. And you know, the valley heat is, is crazy, especially at night, you know? So, um, you know, it, it's over here, it seems to be a lot cooler, a lot nicer because of the breeze, you know, but still we're not gonna take that chance and we're still gonna use it for as long as we can when it gets dark tonight. Uh, so we have a whole plan to try to stay cool and everything because uh, it is kind of record heat over here at South Padre where it is Father's Day weekend and it's crazy hot, you know, but it seems to be, we're, do, we're doing okay right now. And uh, so at this point, I don't know, we, I'm sure we could have handled things a lot better, but there's this thing we're gonna show you, Nacho, Samantha and Robbie are trying to put it together, but it was Nacho that's actually been playing with it and uh, he's already put it together at least once. But it's this thing called the Gent Tent, okay? And it's supposed to be, you know, uh, it's like the generator is gonna get its own uh, tent to protect it from, you know, the elements, protect it from the sea dew and all that, you know? So I don't know, if you're gonna be camping out and it's, you know, there might be rain or in this particular case, there may be a uh, sea dew coming in. This may be a, a good solution. I don't know. Nacho, you've been putting it together. Is it kind of a pain? It kind of is. The sand isn't really helping, but I think we just got it on. Last thing to do is put the tarp over it. This has like an auto start where you can just push a button and it'll turn on, which is pretty neat. So you don't have to be like messing around, you know, with a pull start or any of that. There it goes. Ah, oh, don't quit on us, boy. already completely sealed okay everything is sealed in there and uh, as you can see you know it does have some lights LED lights up here and it's got like a little kitchen light over here we're getting ready to make some dinner and uh, Cassie just thank you honey Cassie just uh, cleaned the the cutting board here because we're gonna be uh, prepping some steaks for kind of a late dinner we've been on the go 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 and um but yeah this is pretty much the setup sammy what do you think loving it love it yeah it's pretty special right pretty oh, different yeah. i'm so excited to sleep in the ac tonight it's going to be so nice and fresh and we deserve it after today for sure you, one of the big things that you always talked about was you wanted to bring the whole family also right? yeah i wanted everybody to come and we can make family memories and enjoy time together out here so. And the only way to do it was pretty much with this setup. With a camper like this that, that has for multiple people that could stay in it. And it's awesome. I love it so far. Uh, it was really hot today, but we have a canopy, thank God, and cooked lunch. He, he cooked lunch and it was, this kitchen is amazing. The refrigerator is amazing. I really like this camper and I am not an outdoor person. 
I don't like to be outside. So this thing's pretty cool. I guess the setup that I used to have um, was a little too primitive for her. Okay, I thought it was glamping already, you know, with a gazelle tent and inflatable mattress. And I thought it was doing fine. But this is, this is a lot better, you know what I mean? Uh, when you have a bunch of amenities, but it's a hybrid for what I like, what I enjoy. I, I, I wanted something that would still allow me to get out here and look at us, man. We're, we're enjoying nightlife. Let me tell you, let me show you the control panel here. Uh, what, would we, what do we have going? We have the pump, the plugs, the fridge, and lights. Pretty much all systems go. And uh, inside I have some, some fans that uh, have charging batteries, uh, rechargeable batteries. So they're charging up as well, uh, just in case there's some sort of failure, you know. Uh, we have that as a backup, you know, uh, where we could still open everything up. Man, Amber is reaching us. All the way over here, that's that's weird. Anyway, I'm gonna start cooking some steaks over here because we deserve it and uh, looking forward to it. What'd you get us, honey? New York Just New York strips, very nice. And uh, so I'm gonna be prepping these. The grill, super hot. First time doing the setup, you know, with the steaks. But, you know, I'm sure everything is gonna turn out great. The rosemary? Yeah. Put, throw a couple of little branches in there. Hey guys, and uh, this is worth the while, man. It's so Samantha is is uh, serving herself there. Here, Goober. Here's a paper towel. Sorry, Sammy. Always catching you at a bad timing. How is it, Nacho? Oh my God. It's good? Yeah, it's amazing. Thank goodness. Okay. Mm mm mm. Oh, that's good. Mm. While Cassie and Sammy cleaned up the kitchen and secured the trash, Nacho, Robbie, and I made sure the hot shower was operating and we even topped off the generator with fuel. We all had just enough water for showers and called it a night in the unique pop-up camper with AC. Hey, happy Sunday morning. We just woke up. Uh, and on the other side is Robbie, Samantha, Nacho, and Cassie and I. You know, we shared this bed over here on the back side of the tent to the camper. Now, I got to tell you... Um, Last night's sleeping experience was a mixed bag for everyone. The wind was crazy. It finally died down in the morning, but it intensified. And just that alone, man, it made us uh, wonder, uh, you know, if this thing was going to keep it together. I mean, nothing happened, but still, you know, this is our first experience. With, the tent, with this camper, so we were scared, but nothing happened. I mean, it was all fine. Um, I'm glad that we tethered down the front, but uh, at the end, we had to open these windows a little while ago because the generator uh, died down, and without the generator, you can't run the AC on this. But right now, it's tolerable. It's nice outside uh, with this uh, breeze. Um, but yeah, that was that for our sleeping experience. Sun's getting a little hotter over here. And uh, I already started putting away some stuff, but 
As you can imagine, it's a daunting task. Cassie, Cassie, thank you so much, honey. She's helping out, making some tacos over here with a leftover, I guess it's kind of Mexican mom. <laughs> Mexican mom breakfast. And uh, Samantha and, and the gang over there, they're still putting away stuff on, in the interior. But uh, yeah, the, the good thing about this is when you have a bunch of folks who are willing to help out, uh, the huge task becomes a lot smaller, okay? So, yeah, is it a lot of work? Yes. Yes, it is. To set up and tear down. Uh, but with help, anything is possible. The other thing, to do all of this for one day or one night or whatever, you know, this is worthy of two nights, three nights. You know, if you're going to go through all that trouble, you want to do that, okay? You want to enjoy the setup. You want to enjoy what you brought. We had some delicious breakfast tacos and started tearing down camp. This video is already way too long, so I will save the teardown process for the next adventure. Well, what a beautiful and hard working weekend. We are out of here, heading back home. I mean, this was an experience. It's exactly what I needed. Uh, we wanted to see, we wanted to push the limits, see what works, what doesn't work for us out here. And we learned a lot. There's some things that we can do without. There's some things that would definitely improve the experience. Oh, I gotta share something with you. So the wind situation was bad throughout the afternoon and it only got worse. I, I don't wanna lie to you guys, so I don't know how, you know, um, what the winds were. I, I, I guess I will have to check a little later to see what we were experiencing, the gusts. Because uh, the, the tent wouldn't move or anything like that. It was just that air canopy that I was concerned about. It is extreme high tide um, at this point with very soft sand on the right side. And uh, the hard packed sand is just a few feet. And uh, there isn't much where you can really travel here. Sandy, my GX, has performed very well. I'm very proud of her. No heating issues, no transmission heating issues. Although that's probably something to consider down the line, you know, maybe getting a, a transmission cooler. I noticed is that there is a squat in the back. So I probably need to, you know, check my suspension uh, issues um, and options, airbag, or, you know, maybe just stiffer springs. I don't know, I don't know. Uh, I have to consult with with uh, uh, DJ, my buddy at D, uh, D and J. So let's see what happens there. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Happy Father's Day to all of you out there, and uh, talk to you later.